Hi, welcome to a Siemens NX12 video tutorial. The first part of the WW109 fighter airplane. I want to insert a raster image. You can go to your datum plane here and then to the raster image. I want to put it on the Y set plane and I want to open that image this one and you can download that image from my GrabKit account or from the blueprints.com. I want to scale it because the original plane is about nine meters long. So I've measured the planes in there and they're about 400 millimeter long. So that would give me a scale factor of 22.5 about 22.5 so I want to multiply this one with 22.5 okay let's turn it around by 180 degrees like this and make it more translucent maybe 40 and Let's see where we can put it. So I want to go for a value of 39000. The base point should be, I could go for middle center. That would be here. And then I could align it, of course. So Let's move it a little bit in that direction. Okay. And then move it down. I want to go for that point or for the point here, maybe. course you could just measure it and then align it so let's move it like this okay maybe like that let's zoom in a little bit yeah it's almost there so I need it to be a little bit more to the left just a little bit maybe like that and a little bit up just a little bit maybe like this it doesn't really matter it's just so my ways are shorter okay now i want to use a plane here which i will call the main sketch plane because it's easier to select in the navigator than always in the model that would be at a distance of zero that's okay and let's rename this one to main sketch plane let's do a first sketch on that plane here of course and confirm now i need more planes i need planes at all those positions here so therefore I want to use a sketch with points or lines. Maybe let's use a rectangle. Start up here and go up to this point over here. Maybe like that. And add some more lines. Let's zoom in. There should be one which starts here and of course goes down. I will trim and will adjust it. One here, like that. Another one, like this. Another one. And another one. I'm 
almost done. And that might be the last one, that's okay. Let's trim. And it already is very slow somehow. Okay. Now let's maybe align those a little bit and maybe fix the first one here. So do we have a fix symbol here? Not really. No, not really. Okay. So let's see. Maybe move this a little bit to the left. Like that. This one a little bit to the right. That would be okay. This one again a little bit to the right. And yes, that's okay. That's okay. Maybe this one a little bit to the right, just a little bit. And maybe that one as well. Okay. Next, that's a little bit to the right. That would be okay. That would be sort of okay. Maybe this one a little bit to the left. Like this or maybe, yeah, that's okay and finish that sketch. And now I can use those lines here as references for my planes. So let's go for the planes. And you can use a different sort of plane I want to go for at angle. Okay. And I could use the reference this one or the other one. Let's go for this one. And so the angle to this one would be 90 degrees around that edge. 90, like this. And let's see if the orientation is okay. I think yes, because that's normal vector. That would be okay in this case. Apply. Next one would be here. Again, 90. Apply another one ninety. Apply next one and another one. Another one, Three more. So that looks wrong. Let's take a look. It should be this the reference and that would be the line 90. So it seems that it's in the other direction somehow. Did I miss something? Maybe. Okay, so I've got all those planes and I want 
to rename them according to the letters up there. So this would be plane A B C and so on. This makes it easier to select them in the navigator. That's F. G. H. J. There is no I, no. K, L, and M. Let's put those planes into a feature group and call that feature group Section Planes. And confirm. I will need two more planes or four more planes for the wings. So let's check that distance here. Let's go for a sketch on the main sketch plane, of course. This one. Okay, and let's see. Let's draw a line like this and one here and one over there and add some dimensions. So from this axis to that one that would be 575 I would say and from this line to that axis it's about 4275 so it's 4275 and 575 finish that sketch and I could delete it of course because I don't need it I just wanted to get the distances. So we'll need a plane here with a distance. So go for datum plane, go for add distance, select the main sketch plane here and the first distance would be 575, 575 and apply. And another one from this one And this would be 4275, 4275. And OK. So those two, put them into another feature group. And call this one Wing Planes. OK. Now let's take a look here. I will need here some sort of plane and one with a distance here somehow. So let's take a look there. Look normal to that plane. And let's draw another sketch here on the main sketch plane. Just draw a line. From about here up to this and that would be 1250. Finish that sketch and delete that sketch. So I need another plane, datum plane. 
with a distance to this one and that would be 1250 and okay and maybe another one with a datum plane again with a distance from the same one as before and that might be yeah 200 and confirm and that would be another feature group and that would be small wings or I think that's the height rudder I don't know if it's called like this but it's for the height and that would be sort of a rudder okay and confirm so I've got I think all my planes let's hide those planes on the sketches and rename those planes or yeah the planes here so that would be the inner one from the wing planes so this should be the outer one outer and here it's the other way around that would be the outer one and this would be the inner one I will need another plane a split plane but let's hide those elements so let's hide those datum planes and the sketches and I need another one of course with a distance from this one that's sort of a split plane that plane should be yeah up here and that would be around 2700 millimeter because i need to split later on this surfaces here at that level so confirm and that would be sort of a split plane split plane and that split plane could be right after the sketch plane references so it's easy to find if i need it okay i could hide that one and of course it should be split not spline plane so it's a split plane let's go for first sketch on the main sketch plane so go for a sketch on the main sketch plane right here okay and i want to go for arcs not for splines arcs are easy to control i will i think get better surfaces and at that time where this machine was built they didn't use splines they i think went for arcs okay let's start here with an arc which starts maybe somewhere over here and goes over to this place and like this yeah maybe adjust it a little bit so that would be more like it and maybe yeah maybe like this if you want to be more accurate you have to use more arcs or you could go for splines of course and then but that should do in an x we can select single elements from a sketch so i want to put it all in one sketch but that arc could be here a little bit more upwards yeah let's go for it yeah that's okay another arc would be somewhere over here would go up to this point maybe like that yeah that's okay and the last one up here yeah 
which should end somewhere over here and might look something like this and again okay this looks okay and finish that sketch let's rename this one that would be the main body reference sketch main body reference sketch now i want to make three extrude surfaces go for an extrude start with this one turn the direction around and maybe 50 millimeter apply another one here turn it around and maybe not 50 let's go for 200 it's easier to see and select apply and another one here again with 200 opposite direction and okay and let's edit this one so this should be 200 instead of 50 yes okay so this will conclude the first part the initial setup hope it was helpful hope you enjoyed it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook fm page would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching See you to the next part of the WW109 air fighter airplane. Bye-bye.